I actually have to go. Oh, 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 what? No, no, it's not that smart. No way. No way. What's up, guys? Michael here. And today we're going to be doing something a little different. Today we're going to be taking a look at the destroyer of the future of web development jobs. And by that, I mean uh, GitHub Copilot. So if you guys don't know, GitHub Copilot is an AI pair programmer. That's how GitHub defines it, at least. And from what I've seen, you're able to generate lines and blocks of code by putting in comments or kind of typing what you want it to be. Now, I've never used GitHub Copilot, so I have no idea what to expect or how to use that, but that's what we're gonna do here in this video today. Now, keep in mind, I'm somebody who's been programming for a total of two years, and only one and a half-ish of those have been professionally. So, take that as you will. I'm not the most experienced person or the most knowledgeable, but uh, we're gonna see what we can do with it. Okay, so what we have here is a bare bones project. I have my index.html, my index.js, and my style.css. That's it. So everything we're doing is fresh. I got the documentation here. I'm gonna have to read through that. And uh... Okay, so according to the documentation, it says, once you're in, you can test by typing this line of code. So we're just gonna copy and paste that because we ain't got all day. And, oh, there it is. There it is, okay. So we copied and pasted this line of code, calculate days between dates. And it automatically pulled in the rest of the function. Interesting. And you hit tab and there it goes. So now we have a function, calculate time between dates. Uh, so we'll go ahead and call it here, calculate days between dates. Uh, it looks like it gives us some automatic dates to plug in. Let's just use those. <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. It generated the answer in comments, what to expect. And uh, we're gonna save that. Actually, we're gonna console log this. And there we go, three days. <laughs> that was the easiest function I've ever written. That was pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna try our own thing now. Let's try to... Uh, generate a div oh auto fills to with a class of container let's do that uh, so i'm gonna hit tab do i hit enter okay you hit enter tab if you like it enter tab if you like it. okay okay i'm just kind of letting it take over now and do its own thing let's see what happens let's see where we end up it looks like it's uh doing bootstrap, right? So far we generated a row, a column, now a jumbotron, <laughs> an H1, it's slowly building out a page. And now we have a P element, a button element, a span element, okay, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty dope. <laughs> so now just like that, we just generated a bunch of uh, HTML elements for our page, that's pretty cool. All right, uh, let's see it in action now. Generate a div in the HTML file and center it with a blue background. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. If I just centered a div with the GitHub Copilot AI, it is the best thing in the world. Let's see, let's see how it looks. Oh, I have to save, whoops. There we go, guys. <laughs> the hardest thing in web development done by just pressing tab and enter. I'm not gonna lie, GitHub Copilot is fire. <laughs> All right, let's try something a little more complex now. So we know it can, we know it can center a div. All right, it's already better than like 90% of the developers out there. Okay, so we're gonna try something a little more complex now. Let's try an API call. So we're gonna try to get the weather from the API. Let's see, uh, get weather 
from API const get weather. So it's doing a function to get the weather from the API. And boom, just like that, we have a weather API call. All I would need to do is get a key, plug the key in there, and we're in business, baby, just like that. Wow, that's insane. So now we're going to try that out real fast. Let's see what we get. Oops, I put my key in there as a variable. There we go. And now, <laughs> just like that, we have a weather API call for wherever Carnes is, I think. Yeah, Carnes, Carnes, wherever that is. That was the easiest API call I've ever done. Wow. Don't you guys steal my API key either? Max it out. I know somebody out there will. So we can make functions. We can manipulate the DOM and make changes to the HTML. And we can do API calls with typing out just a few words. <laughs> yeah, this is for real fire, man. Let's see if we can use this to help out with a uh, coding problem that may be presented to us during an interview, huh? Let's see. I'm going to jump over to Code Wars, and we're going to grab the first one I see. Oh, they made this fancy now. Y'all see this? It's never been like this. Okay. Um... Let's grab this first problem here. Move each letter of a word to the end of it, and then add A. Is this Pig Latin? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Simple Pig Latin. Okay. Move the first letter of each word to the end of it, and then add an A at the end of the word. Leave punctuation marks untouched. Okay, let's do that. Let's see if we can type that in. Move. Let's see if we can just copy and paste this in there. Nope, so we couldn't copy and paste the coding problem. I'm a little disappointed. A little disappointed we couldn't just copy and paste that in there. It says code here. But I actually have to go through and I actually have to go. Oh, 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 what? No, no, it's not that smart. No way. No way. I guess it just took a second. Okay, this is wild. <laughs> All right. Oh, it had, oh my, there's no way, dude. There's no way. There is no way. It must like have the answers to this already or somebody has done this already somewhere. It's, it's in there. It already knows. It already knows that this is the question and this is the answer. This is wild. And there it is in the console. <laughs> so you guys saw it here first. You can pull simple coding problems from websites like Code Wars. Just throw them in your editor and <laughs> it will solve it for you. <laughs> that is crazy. I did not expect that at all. So GitHub Copilot is absolute fire. Okay. I wish I could think of better use cases or or play with it more in this video, but I would spend so long messing around with this and just trying to do random things and this video would go on forever. I just wanted to try a few experiments and see how it worked. And man, I don't know if you guys could tell, that is, this is the <laughs> wildest thing I ever used. I feel like, I feel like this makes everything so easy. Is it the end of developers in the future? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, man. I am like shocked. <laughs> but this is an awesome tool, man. Like this is going to make things so much easier. I'm already trying to build out new portfolio stuff. And uh, <laughs> things just got a lot more simple. I'm definitely down to play around with this more uh, on stream. If you guys are interested in checking out the stream, I'll have a link to that below. I'm going to start streaming a little bit more here uh, in the upcoming days. But man, this was a very successful experiment. <laughs> GitHub Copilot two big thumbs up i'm impressed that was some of the most fun i've had <laughs> just messing around in an editor in a while that's wild man this is all wild well that's gonna do it for this one 
If you like the video, give me that thumbs up down there and like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be doing a lot more fun stuff like this as we move forward. Support me down in the links below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.